All right, welcome back to another late night chat with Toss Total OS today, Total Technology for Beginners and Beyond. Just got back from a restaurant with a friend of mine, a Greek restaurant, locally owned Greek restaurant. Very nice and pleasant. And uh, I just got home, so if anybody is on late tonight, uh, can't sleep, or would like to chat, here I am. Netra Amorosi is in the house. Hello, how are you? Is the music too loud? Background music from the uh, YouTube audio library. And we're playing some Silent Partner. We'll see if anybody else jumps on and uh, maybe we'll go to some little bit of some news items. Just to chill out for tonight. TJ Wolf is in the house. Welcome. Okay, I, I guess you guys can hear me, right? Sound check. Check one, check two. Fidel, hello. It's fine. Chip Catalana, my paisana, was in the house. Welcome, Chip. Let me go ahead and... uh. Let me go ahead and transition here so you guys can see what I'm doing. There we go. All right, so my mic sounds good. Very good. Background music, I guess, is okay. You, you guys can just barely hear it, right? Not too loud, I hope. Again, it's music, free music, from the YouTube Audio Library, playing from the um, artist called Silent Partner. <laughs> I am so awesome, 74 or 78. Sup Toss, I was finally able to make it. Very good. Welcome. I'm doing good. Okay, so wait a few minutes, see who else jumps on, and we'll go to some random news items to this late night chat. I, just, I should just call this Toast to Toast instead of Coast to Coast. You know that late night show that comes on, I think it's 1 o'clock in the morning Eastern Time. Coast to Coast. We'll just call this Toast to Toast. I suppose. Everything sounds perfect. Very good. All right, looks good here. Let's go to some news items. Okay, well, Linux Mint 18.3 features and release date. What's hot in the next version? As, as you guys know by now, I like Linux Mint. I use Linux Mint on my main machine, and I have also Ubuntu Mate on my Toshiba laptop. So it looks like some Linux Mint news. Let's see here. Uh, release date looks like towards the end of December 2017 with the Ubuntu 16.04.3 base. And Rob Brooks, on my lunch break here in, in Sydney. What's up, mate? Welcome. I was hoping I could catch somebody overseas, you know, during your daylight hours. Welcome to the show. Thank you for stopping by, Rob. It's a pleasure to have you here. Enjoy your lunch. I just had a late dinner. That's why I can't fall asleep yet. Anyway, getting back to Linux Minty. Mint. Uh, let's see here. After that, Linux Mint, Mint development team is expected to make a shift to a new base, of course, 18.04. So one can expect Linux Mint to be released around June 2018. 18.3 uh, features have been implemented. Okay, so login, Linux Mint login screen has lots of configuration options. I never got into highly or customizing the login screen that much, to be quite honest. I guess it's a nice feature. Uh, but yeah, just something I just never got into. I am some awesome has 70, uh, 74, 70. You have Arch. Got it. Okay. Yes, I believe Arch is usually very fast. Absolutely. Uh, so we got a new Mint Software Manager. <coughs> Excuse me. Improvements. Window Progress. Okay. To improve your efficiency of say and save from the trouble of opening a window. I suppose. The Mint Backup Tool. I guess that's cool. Other improvements are the Upload Manager Domain Blocker. Won't be shipping, but you can get them from the Mint repositories. Very good. Once again, 
uh, it is expected December 2017. Let's see, Chip. You should have invited Tux Digital. Yeah, yeah. I should have invited Tux Digital. I know. This is just one of the random things I do with these late night chats. I should have invited him, yeah. I forgot. What does he use? Does he use. I, no, I, I don't think he uses Linux Mint, does he? He uses Solus now, right? The OS Helper. Well, hello. Oh, it's Lamer Linux. Okay, okay. So instead of Distro Hop, you name hop, right? That's cool. All right, so that's what's up with Linux Mint. Let's move on. This uh, this next one headline is kind of funny. I'll just say it. Linus Torvalds passed a kidney stone and then squeezed out <laughs> Linux 4.13. I guess it was very painful. Actually, it says here, I think it was. Uh, let's see here. He says, it was seven hours of pure agony due to a kidney stone. Ah, uh, those Linux kidney stones, let me tell you, they're a real pain. Uh, so yeah, so the latest Linux kernel has been released. Um, he uses, Tux uses KD Neon. Okay, well that's cool. Yeah, yeah, name hop instead of distro hop, right? Anyway, let's move on. TJ Wolf is good. Very good. Vivaldi Boss. It, it would be cool if Google went back to the not evil shtick. I'm sorry, Vivaldi. Being evil is more fun. It's more interesting. And so on. Google has not yet responded <laughs> for the comment. Of course not. What else do we have? Asteroid Florence. Interesting names, female names. First we had uh, Hurricane Harvey. Now we have Hurricane Irma, which apparently is twice the size of the state of Florida, or twice as wide. That is one big hurricane. I got some friends who still live there. I hope they're going to be okay. But yeah, that the latest hurricane that might slam into Florida is very nasty, if you guys haven't seen the news. But getting back to asteroid, Florence buzzes Earth. Four and a half... Kilometer Rock is the largest object we've seen up close, albeit it's still 7 million miles away. I guess that's relatively close. Interesting. What else do we got? Yeah, how to diagnose memory problems in Windows 10. There's a, there's a feature built in this. If you're running into issues such as, um, well, freezes and random reboots, you can check uh, memory it has some instructions here. This is from windowscentral.com. For those of you who use who dual boot or use Windows 10, I've never really tried this. Uh, it's under administrative tools and Windows memory diagnostic, but uh, maybe I'll check it out. Do a video on that, see if it actually works, but that'll do a memory test. Sounds like a fat joke. Hmm. Uh, I decided I to make Windows Linux videos, and for me, it's going to be weird to make Windows videos while the name Linux. Now, there's nothing wrong with that, the OS helper. I mean, I, I dual boot. And sometimes I'll get questions, why do I use Windows if I'm in Linux, or why do I use Linux if I'm in Windows? And, of course, the answer is I dual boot. It's to, For me, it's the best of both worlds. So this here, yeah, uh, memory check in Windows 10 built-in memory checker cool all right let's move on let's go on to linux today let's see if there's anything here that catches my eye uh, let's see let's see let's scroll down here the best new linux desktop environments is there something i missed let's take a look Let's go to complete story. This is from Datamation. And what do we have here? Pantheon. Okay, I don't use that personally, but okay. Budgie. I think I looked at that once. I think that's fairly lightweight. I think Solos has that in the repository. Charlie Browno is in the house. Good day. How are you? 
Welcome to a late night chat. All right, so where are we? Okay, so Pantheon, they like Budgie. What else? Desktop environment. LXQT, that's interesting. LXQT isn't dis distro specific at all. As a matter of fact, it's simply a QT inspired incarnation of the much older desktop LXDE. Ah, yes. Okay, and of course you can put that in Arch. And I bet that would be super fast. So Charlie, you swap to Debian 9 Mate. Okay. So many issues with Mesa, R9, 360, Pulse Audio lately. Oh, okay. Sorry to hear that. Yeah, distro hopping. Charlie, I don't distro hop the way I used to. I'm pretty much stuck with the Ubuntu-based systems. Uh, it's what I started with. And I'm pretty much hooked on Linux Mint and Ubuntu Mate for now, just to keeping it simple. Okay, so yeah, LXQT for older PCs. What else do we have? Enlightenment, another lightweight DE, if I recall. And what else? Anything else? I guess that's it. All right. What else we got from Linux today? You love LXDE? Very good. <laughs> Okay, let's see if anything here catches my eye. And I'm not seeing. What's the current state of Linux distro for kids? Interesting. Nuvola Player, a Cloud Player. I don't think I am familiar with that, but let's take a quick look, see what we have. Nuvola Player stream cloud music directly from your desktop. That uh, looks pretty simple. Okay, enough of that. Uh, let's go back here see what else we have. You like Arch because you have new hardware and you love new software. Okay, so you like cutting edge software. Be careful not to get cut. Beginner's Guide to Kill Process Linux Using Kill, PK, PKL, and Kill All. There's a lot of killing going on. Okay. Let's go on to another website. Let's go to ONG Ubuntu. Let's see what's new. Uh, did you happen to see the new spin of Ubuntu that is an educational edition? I did not, Charlie. No, I did not. Okay, let's see what's on here on OMG Ubuntu. MConnect, the Android GNOME Shell extension has been updated. I guess that's for phones. Looks like. Pulse Audio. Released, adds new features and fixes. Well, there you go. The improved 1710 login screen for Ubuntu. Oh yeah, the screenshot tool Shutter gets first update in two years. I use that sometimes. <laughs> Good day all. <laughs> Thanks for the hell Fidel. Okay. Anything else here to talk about? Uh, yeah, Skype has been redesigned for Linux. I haven't installed the latest one. I will one of these days. Let's see. Let's go to another one of my favorite websites. Let's go to Noobs Lab. Let's see what else we have. So is anybody here like Ubuntu Mate? Besides me? Flacon lets you rips trap. Rip Tracks, Flacon, F-L-A-C-O, not familiar with that one, okay. Desktop Dimmer for your desktop, okay. Not sure why that was needed. And Pass, the new, or I don't know if it's new, but it's a cross-platform password. I don't use a password manager, to be honest. Yeah, 
Maybe I should, but I don't know. I use a simple book, write everything down. Anything else here to take a look at? Media converter. Yep, I use Celine Media Converter sometimes. Works pretty good. There's also something called Curlew uh, Media Converter. Let's see, you got annoyed with all the cracking on the audio interface with Pulse. That's why I ditched Ubuntu Mate. Um, I don't recall Charlie ever having an issue with audio. Did you post it in the Ubuntu Mate forum? Huh. Yeah. I mean, I'm using the current beta and it seems okay so far. Uh, I haven't recorded any videos on that laptop with the latest Ubuntu Mate 1710, but um, I don't know. Uh, maybe the new Pulse update maybe fixes that. Why this toss now have... Uh, Liam, welcome. I just changed it. Yeah, I, for a long time, the, 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 the uh, channel, I called it T TOS Today. It's short for Total OS Today. And, you know, uh, sometimes people would pronounce it wrong who didn't know the channel, like uh, Toast Today or Toss Today or Tosty Today. So, I, you know what? It, the real name of the channel is Total OS Today, not really Toss Today. That's just been shortened. But that was me. I just changed the name to Total OS Today. Of course, you know, for short, Toss Today. You guys know that. But for beginners, it seemed like it was a little bit confusing. You know, what is Toast Today? You know, T-O-S-T -T, Toast. Anyway, Liam, that's why I, I, I changed it. So. Uh, let's see here. Nothing else I think that caught my eye. This is from Noob's Lab. You can usually find a lot of themes here. Um, I don't really mess with a lot of themes personally. I like to keep it simple. Uh, War of Thunder on Steam didn't work on Ubuntu Mate, but works correctly on Debian 9. Okay, all right, very good. I don't, I don't do a lot of games in Linux, so. Shatir is in the house. Hello, how are you? Uh, but why is it all a cap? That was just me being different, Liam. Yeah, I thought about, you know, just having the OS in caps. Uh, just to be different. No particular reason. To be quite honest. Yeah. So I just kept it all, all caps, Liam. Yeah. Charlie recommend everyone to play War of Thunder. Very good. And where was I? Yeah, lots of themes. If, if you guys are into themes, definitely check out Noob's Lab. There is a lot here. Yeah, OS Helper, yeah. The actual, the real name was really Total OS Today. Toss Today was just shortened. Uh, but anyway, I thought it was time to, uh, after seven years, to avoid confusion and use the real name, but that's why it was changed. And I just kept it all caps. No particular reason, just want to be different, I suppose. Hang on one second, let me get to my uh, cell phone real quick. Just give me a second here. Okay, there's an app um, for Android for sure. That's the, it's basically a Linux news app, and that's the name of it. So if you guys have Android, it might be available for for iOS. I don't know, uh, but it's simply called Linux News, and that's how I catch some of my news articles. I'm just checking it now on my phone real quick to see if there's anything on there. Um, And nothing on this page. 
Oh yeah, there was something. Desktop Linux now has the highest market share. Let's take a look at that real quick. Simon, hello. From Scotland, I lad. Not so sunny Scotland. Well, it was uh, not bad today here in Ohio, Simon. Yep, and it's currently, what is it? 66 degrees Fahrenheit here in Ohio. So, typical September evening. Let's take a look at this desktop Linux market share. Yeah, it's doubled. <laughs> Still not a lot, but hey, it's like 3. Point, uh, yeah, 3.37 seven percent all thanks to total os today telling windows users to dump windows and use linux what's the matter with you no nah, i'm just kidding just kidding um it is three zero three five five hours there okay so it is in the morning there you are an early riser or simon you cannot fall asleep can you uh, did you hear that in Steam OS results? Linux grew 2%, the Windows Server grew 2%, the Windows 10 dropped. No, I did not know. Dropped by 4%, Windows 10? That's got to be wrong, Charlie. Don McCullough's in the house. Welcome. So anyway, yeah, Linux market share. A lot of this probably has to do with Chromebooks, which is based on a form of Linux. That's my guess. Uh, either way, this is pretty good. Uh, two years back, if this article or if these numbers are correct, two years ago, Linux was one seventh or 1.74 percent market market share, and it's basically doubled. That's just actually pretty good if the numbers are accurate. So, thanks to my channel, everybody has is now using Linux. Okay, maybe not the Linux master race, and maybe one day, Charlie. When Windows failed to boot a corrupted drive, try Linux Distro. It did fail, really? I don't have a problem with that, with booting or corrupted drives, unless you have a virus. OS Helper, yes. Linux does seem to get a little bit better um, every year. Ever so little moving forward. Totally agree. Uh, let's see here. Looking at other counterparts of Linux, Windows adoption has slowed down. Uh-oh. Compared to the percentage share throughout the first half of 2017, the last few months are now to be bad for Windows. Let's bash Windows. Nah, 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 for Windows. <laughs> anyway, uh, Windows 7 is losing its market, and Windows 10 is growing at a snail's place. You know, we make fun of Windows, but I have to tell you, I keep my Windows 10 drive clean maintained you know run the virus scans run the spyware anti-spyware scan, uh, scans and it just works it just does i don't care for the update process for us the privacy and the data mining i can do without but it, technically if, if you ask me does windows 10 work uh, i'm just calling it as i see it yeah Uh, let's see here. Best distros for beginners. Best Linux distro for gamers. Uh, best operating systems for hacking. That's interesting. Let's see what's the best Linux distro for gamers. Just out of curiosity. Steam OS. That would make sense. Yeah. I suppose. Game Drift Linux. Never heard of it. Ubuntu Game Pack. Never heard of that. Sparky, I've heard of that. Fedora Game Spin. Interesting. Don McCullough's trying to be funny. Gnome Shell. Yeah, sure. No problem. Let's not forget, Don and everybody here, that, by the way, Laka Linux. Laka, Laka, Laka. I like a Linux. What the heck is Laka Linux? Anyway, Don and folks, don't forget that when GNOME Shell GNOME 3 first came out, it was Linus Torvalds himself who called Linux or GNOME 3 an unholy mess. 
I defended Gnome 3. I mean, it wasn't unholy. Come on, Linus. <laughs> the open source game console. Have you guys heard of Laka Linux? Lightweight Linux distribution that transforms a small computer to a full ball, full, full, full blown game console. That's interesting. User friendly. Uh, I've seen that before. You install on your SD card a USB flash drive. Okay. Laka is the official distribution of Retro Arch and the Libretro ecosystem. Again, I have no idea what's going on here, but interesting. Laka Linux. Uh, let's see, Liam. To fix Windows 10, spying updates, disconnect your PC <laughs> from the internet. Well, Liam, look, even with Linux, once you get on the web, mm, you can pretty much forget about privacy. Yeah. Yeah, Laka looks like a PS3 menu, yeah. As far as Linux gaming, I had bought... I had thought that the Ultimate Edition based on Ubuntu was one for a while. And there's the LinuxGamers.net. Okay, all right. Rob Brooks says, sounds like puppy, Laka. Yes, Laka is a small puppy from Australia. No, I don't know. Manjaro, M-Game, M-Gami. Hmm. And Ubuntu. Oh, well. Let's see, what else do we have here? Best operating systems for hacking. I wonder what that could be. <laughs> oh, for oh, pardon me. It's for the best systems for ethical hacking. Okay. Have I looked at this before? I don't know. What do we have here? Kali Linux. Again, this is for ethical hacking. Parrot OS. Security OS. Back box. Hmm. The Samurai Web Testing Framework. Pentu Linux. Pentu. Pentu sounds like a train station in China. Welcome to Pentu train station. Simon likes Linux Mint Mate. Well, guess what, Simon? So do I. I like Linux Mint Mate. And Ubuntu Mate. Deft Linux. Deft stands for Digital Evidence and Forensic Toolkit. Hmm, sounds like a TV series. Kane. Computer Aided Investigative Environment. I like that. Kane Linux. Hmm. Interesting. Network Security Toolkit. Black Arch Linux. Yeah, yeah, Pentu, choo choo. The Pentu Express. Yeah, Simon, yep. I'm a Mate fan myself. Arch Strike Linux. That sounds like a game. Fedora Security Spin. Interesting. So that's a quick look at. The best Linux for ethical hacking. So what would be the best Linux for unethical hacking? I guess anyone that you customize, I suppose. Well, let's see, anything else on Fosspy to take a quick look at? I won't, I won't be on too much longer. Let's see here, all right. Uh, YouTube MP3 largest downloader website is shutting down. Uh oh. Uh, let's see here. Why is Google so confused about its own birthday? I have no idea. That's a weird uh, news title. 
The Orville, Charlie. Yeah, that's a new TV series from Seth MacFarlane from Family Guy. It looks pretty interesting. Might have to check it out Sunday. Yeah, it's a sp the Orville is a spoof on Star Trek, if I saw it correctly. Saw the previews. Yep, after 12 years, YouTube's logo has changed. It has. Let's see. Oh, you're the testing the Hyperloop. Crosses 200 miles per hour. Huh. That's interesting. Based out of Germany. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, Elon Musk is testing uh, here in the States, I believe, in the uh, Western Desert. Perhaps a future form of transportation called the Hyperloop. Interesting. LG G4 G5, a ticking time bomb. Huh? What is that all about? Let me take a look here. Uh, let's see here. After being cornered, in, cornered into admitting that a selection of their phones contained manufacturer defects, oh, LG found themselves facing a class action lawsuit in the U.S. Really? I've never heard of this. Huh. The lawsuit has now grown both ge geographically as it becomes recognized in other nations. What is going on? I haven't heard of this. Is it worth buying any of these LG devices? Have you guys heard about this? Hmm. Uh, let's see here. Level one, the Hyperloop. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, let me read this here. Currently, the U.S. lawsuit covers the LG G4, G5, Nexus 5X. Whoa. The LG V10. What is going on here? The problem uh, characterizes a boot loop issue. Appears due to a flaw in the way CPUs were soldered. Oh, to the motherboards. When the CP does not make full contact with the motherboard, the unit fails to boot and... Oh. Whoa. The lawsuit arose when LG, aware of the issue, replaced warranty device with new devices that were manufactured with the very same flaw. Jeez. Oh, hmm. Interesting. Uh... Wow, I didn't know. I didn't know about the that part with LG. That's not good. Wow, not good at all for LG. Yeah. Happy 22nd birthday, Windows 95. Eh, who cares? Yeah, good thing you didn't get a G5. I mean, LG, on technically, well, besides the defects, is a pretty good phone. But I did, I did not know they were having problems. My goodness, where is quality control? First Samsung and now LG. Let's see, anything else here? Nokia 8. Nokia is back. Dustin DeLong is in the house. Hello, whatever happened to Spatry? Dustin, to be honest, I have no clue. I really don't know what happened. Uh, let's see what's up with Nokia. From Finland, I do believe. Let me check my phone here real quick. Oh yeah, KDE Plasma 510 reaches end of life 
5.11 Plasma will debut in early October, by the way. Okay, where are we here? Nokia. Nokia's first Android flagship smartphone. Well, let's see here. Four gigs of RAM. Nokia 8 ships with Android 7 Zeiss Optics. Okay. With a feature for simultaneous live streaming from both rear and front cameras. Well, that's interesting. Hmm. Uh, Rob, MS had a partnership deal with Nokia f four or five years ago for Windows phones, and that kind of flopped. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Is this live stream advertiser friendly? Shatir, I, you know what? I just don't really know anymore, to be quite <laughs> honest. I know you're joking, but you want to know what was deemed unsuitable, Shatir? my announcement of my live event i think it was sunday yeah the actual announcement there was something unsuitable <laughs> god this must be driving a lot of popular or semi-popular youtubers it must be driving them nuts you know what's it gonna take to make a f f you know f a anyway uh <sighs> All right, where 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 were we here? B -b 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 oh yeah, so live streaming front and rear cameras. That's cool. That's cool. Uh, let's see here. Qualcomm Snapdragon processor. The body of Nokia is built aluminum. Okay, different colors. All right, five point three inch. That's fine. Thirteen megapixel dual lens back and front cameras. Very good. Specifications, 64 gigabyte internal storage should be enough. Four gigs of RAM, very nice. And quick charge. The phone won't be available in the US. What? It won't be available in the US? Come on, Nokia. It'll hit the European markets next month and cost you $700. Okay. Guess we'll have to wait for it in the States. Did I hear Intel's EU court thing finally came to a close? Intel, go away with anti-consumer. No, I did not hear anything about that. I did not. Yeah, Charlie, yeah, the dual cameras and dual uh, streaming from both cameras is pretty cool. Yep. Yeah, Nokia, Nokia kind of faded and then they came back. Uh, they tried the Windows 10 phone, but that really didn't go anywhere. So, yeah. Hello, Ben. Oh, the Nokia 8 is available in Australia. Very good, Charlie. Yeah. yeah. I think, you know what? If the phone turns out to be stable and reliable, why not? Why not have Nokia come back on the market? You know. Okay, let me go ahead and get out of some of these tabs here. Ben is on Arch. Very good. I am not on Arch, obviously. And don't think I'll ever will be. Going through my phone here on the Linux News app, see if there's anything here on my phone to look at. All right, nothing here. Um, uh, the Samsung S4, or you can take both front and back pictures. Okay, good. Ironically, Nokia pricing Australia is based off US dollars, yet it's not available in the USA. I'm sure they did that for a reason. Um, yeah. Let's, uh... Let's 
Let's see if I can find some odd news for the auto blog. We'll, we'll, we'll finish up with some oddball news. How does that sound? Then I'll go to bed. All right, this is, this is some weird car news from autoblog.com. Uh, Let's see if we can find a few laughs. Uh, watch as Texas woman slips, handcuffs, swipes police car for 100 mile power chase. Oh, man. What is her phone number? <laughs> really? Woman slips, handcuffs, and steals the car. Oh. Oopsie. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Which is faster, Land Rover Discovery, Sport, or Sled Dogs, huh? That's a weird headline. Increasing the range of your car keys with just your head. Oh, that's using your head. Florida man faces 12 DUIs after striking 17 parked cars, a new world record. Anyway, yeah. Uh, perhaps they, the, the police should, should check their handcuffs. <laughs> Her phone number is the jail she's going to. Man, that's pretty, you know what, that's pretty slick. <laughs> oh, it happened twice, 2015 and 2013. Let's see if I can play this without buffering. Don't know if you guys can see that, but she slipped out. <laughs> oh my. Looks like she's going to the front to do her thing. Hope you guys can see this and not buffering. And there goes the car. The car. <laughs> Oopsie. Oh my. Actually, that's very dangerous. I shouldn't laugh, but wow. But really, you're stealing a police police car. Where can you go, right? Anyway, enough of that. Uh, another issue with the Butumate was Firefox would crash. Really? Charlie, I have not had those issues. Maybe maybe you had a corrupted download. That's what I think. You try Debian too overwhelming, really? I, I would think Arch is too overwhelming. Hmm. You could see it, yeah. Yeah, that's, uh, that was pretty slick of that girl uh, slipping her cuffs, but to steal the car, police car, I mean, how far can you go? I mean, come on, get real. Okay, let's do one more set of uh, oddball news, guys, and I'm done, okay? Uh, let's see. Adidas releases beer repellent Oktoberfest sneakers. I did not know that was necessary. Hello, Derp. Welcome. Shoplifting Seagull returns to cafe to take bag of chips. Sure, why not? Driver, police, driver's seat was a rolled up mattress. Huh? That's weird. Oh, antelope eats from man's lap during car safari. Let's take a look at that. Is 
their video. Okay, let's take a look. Why not? Oh, isn't that cute? <laughs> the box and ever I guess it was hungry. <laughs> oh man, gotta love animals. I think there's kids in the car screaming, but that's funny. Let's watch that again. <laughs> uh Yummy. <laughs> okay. Enough of that. <laughs> so you like Debian 9. Okay. To stop drop bears attacking you as a tourist, put Vegemite behind the ears. Aha. Uh -huh. Great grandma finds 13 foot snake coiled around toilet. Ugh. That's not good. Man wins lottery jackpots on Labor Day weekend, two years apart. Really? That is very good luck. Let's go to the next page. Amateur gymnast gets stuck in bathroom window on Tinder date. Do I want to go there? No, I don't think so. Magpie season in Australia. Cool. A moose visits Washington State Yard. Battles tire swing. Um, let's take a look. Why not? See if we can see this. I guess the moose doesn't like tires. <laughs> hmm. Well, that's something that you just don't see every day. I guess the, it thinks it's a big weapon or something. Monster. Anyway. What else is funny? Train strikes car pulling onto track. Oh, my goodness. Let's take a look at this. At Pennsylvania Station. Oh, boy. Be careful around train tracks. Oh, oh, squish. Oh, very lucky. Right there, very lucky. Ooh. Uh, yeah, right, the black tiger, the, the black tire was looking at him funny. Yeah, mm-hmm. Mm. Uh, what can I say? That that tire had the moose going around in circles. <coughs> Hello, Cody. Welcome. Uh, man caught on camera standing on roof of moving car with no driver. Police in China. Chinese are weird. Here we go with the python in the toilet again. Off-duty officer wrangles rattlesnake. Ew. What is it with these animals? Texas man finds nine-foot alligator in dining room after flood. 
Uh oh. Man, f Maine fisherman catches translucent, translucent. Wow, white lobster right there. That's cool. German man breaks world record for most beer mugs held. Held, not drank, held. Hmm, that's interesting. And let's go to the last page and we'll wrap this up. Snake in the toilet. Yeah, Snake in the Toilet. It's the sequel to the movie Snakes, Snakes on a Plane. <laughs> uh, let's see. Michigan man. Somebody stole his $7,000 Lego collection. Oh, no. Here we go again with the snakes. Family finds six-foot snake on top of... What is it with snakes? <laughs> Woman driving on highway finds baby squirrel climbing her leg. What could possibly go wrong, right? Yep, I've seen this. Monster trucks travel to Houston to help with rescue work. Yep, no problem with the flood with those big tires. Beekeeper takes maternity photos covered in 20,000 bee. Huh? I don't think so. <laughs> Sneaky seagull. Of course. Let's check it out. Uh, let's see here. Now I'm thinking of that famous Samuel. Yeah, that starred Samuel Jackson, Ben. Yeah. 7K Lego collection stolen. I'd be tiqued if it was me. Yep. Toss, thanks for making my lunch break. You're welcome. Stop by anytime I am on. Yeah, I'll catch you later too. Thanks, Rob. Massacore is in the house. Let's see. Let's watch a sneaky seagull. Uh, <laughs> sneaky seagull secure a sumptuous snack. All right, let's take a look. Where is it? Oh, wait a minute. Oh, there it goes, right here. If you can see a lot of mist fog there. There it goes, there it goes, there it goes, there it goes. <laughs> Takes the bag and everything. And, there, and there's the girl chasing. There's the girl, did you see the girl? <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> uh. Hmm. Didn't know they uh, they're into bags, seagulls. Anyway, anything else here? There we go with more animals. Alligator. Them thieving seagulls need to be stopped. Yes. Another python in the laundry room calling it T-Swift. Of course, what else would you call a python? T-Swift. Okay, that's the end of that. All right, guys, anything else before we wrap this up? Scientists unveil explosion-free lithium ion batteries. Samsung, are you listening? Hmm. As opposed to explosion-prone lithium ion batteries? That's not encouraging, is it? Oh my. Anyway.
new boarding procedures may limit spread of disease inside airplane cabins. I certainly hope so. Electric leaf sensors. Hmm. Of course, citizen spot, citizen scientists spot Martian spiders. Of course, what else is on Mars? Okay, I'm done with this. Anything else, guys, for this late night chat? With Total OS today, I want to thank everybody for stopping by. Uh, let's see. Try Gentoo, the world of warships. Okay. That made it sound like a bad influence. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I, as I think Samsung has learned its lessons when it comes to not properly testing batteries in their phones. I heard the Samsung 8 is a very good phone, by the way. All right, Simon, thank you for stopping by. I think I am done with this one for this evening. So I want to thank everybody for stopping by. And I'll catch you on the next one whenever that will be. I might do something this weekend. And that's it for this one. As always, guys, enjoy your technology and please... Don't text and drive. Catch you on the next one. Ciao.